this is so delicious. Look at this goat meat. Mmm. Ooh, it's still smoky hot. Let's have a bite. Mmm. Let's make the goat meat with lime to get rid of the bad smells, if you would say. <laughs> and then just mix them together like that and leave it for 30 minutes or so. So as you can see, after I marinated the goat meat, it's become a bit lighter. I poured some seasonings on it already. So it's not so red anymore. And for the next seasonings that we use is this is paprika powder about a teaspoon and this is turmeric powder and this is black pepper white pepper and coriander powder and this is a little bit of garlic powder ginger powder and salt to taste so it's all all powdered so it's pretty easy and I'm gonna crush some uh, garlic and ginger there so make a ginger and garlic paste okay let's start all right now we're gonna marinate it okay so i got the garlic paste with me so. and just pour over everything in. like that so now we do the mixing It smells so good. Look. Now I have the oil already heating up, so let's put in the marinated goat meat. Oh. <laughs> right. So, just Stir fry a little bit. So for this kind of seasonings, definitely you don't need MSGs or kind of chicken stock or whatever that's called. Or you don't need any sugar because I'm doing it healthy way so you can choose your own lifestyle isn't it so this is just my way but i'm just trying to be healthy okay <laughs> okay so we keep stirring it now after everything mixed together like that and then we just leave it there and then we're gonna cover it for a little yep like that and we make sure with low fire simmer it for about 20 25 minutes until it's absolutely dry okay let's wait so i have sliced onions here and parsley i'm gonna dice it small and i got green paprika here i just sliced it tiny like that you can make cubes or any shape you like okay or you can put red paprika or orange paprika now I'm using greens okay so let's go to the next step so I think it's perfectly done now as you can see it's so juicy over there <laughs> and the color is just beautiful so I simmer it now for 30 minutes or so, so I think it's perfectly done. So we pour in everything. Parsley. Now 
now because I simmer it with small fire. So now I turn it to the medium fire to keep the paprikas and the onions fresh and crunchy and just stir fry it for like about less than five minutes or so and then we are ready to serve. Okay. Hmm. Smells so good already. Alright, as simple as that, not so complicated, just sprinkle some parsley on it again, and job done. Mmm, looks so delicious. <laughs> mm, so beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Still smoky hot. <laughs> so, it's pretty simple, but I'm sure it's so delicious, so let me have a little bite. Mmm. This is so tender and all the seasonings absorb in with the flavor of the onion and also the parsley in. This is give another level of taste. <laughs> so make sure you try this at home. So if you ever do, please leave your comment below to let me know about the goodness of the taste. Thank you so much and see you next time.